Now, Brent, today alone, you've confirmed multiple cases at multiple schools. That's right, Simone and Kurt, from Richmond to Palatan to Hanover. In fact, today in Dinwoody, some students return to class. Other districts are watching to see if and how they should. We sit back and we look and we're just like, wow. That's because the inevitable now apparent school buildings reopening new coronavirus cases being confirmed. Take a look at this email from Richmond Public Schools Monday. One employee at Fox Elementary and another at Henderson Middle both tested positive and are now being quarantined. In Hanover County, two people on two school buses also contracted the virus. As a result, four people on those buses must also quarantine because they had close contact. Monday, we confirmed another case at Beasley Elementary in Prince George and one at Powhatan High. That's where a staff member tested positive and now six students are in quarantine. These are our colleagues. These are our sisters and brothers in education and we don't want anyone, anyone to get sick. Sonia Smith heads the Chesterfield Education Association, which does not include members of any of the schools we've mentioned. But because this is a universal issue, she's concerned. Making sure that every single corner of every single building is absolutely clean and safe and that the spacing actually works and, and that everyone is on the same page 100% all in with all of the safety measures. Because if one person doesn't do it, it's going to affect everyone else. That is the biggest concern. Most importantly, this is sure to be a matter of trial and error as school districts do their best to figure it all out. We've got to allow for grace, patience, and understanding. Because no one knows what's going to happen. No, the virus is in control. As for the cases at RPS, one faculty member was at Fox Elementary on the Thursday before Labor Day. And over at Henderson Middle, that faculty member was there every day until the 15th of the month. The district is asking anyone who was at those schools around the same time to watch their health tonight. We're live on your side, Brent Solomon, NBC 12.